Well, I have to say I was actually a little bit pleasantly surprised with what happened in week 14. When I made my picks for last week, I wasn't all that high on them, and I had the feeling that I was going to have a really bad week, and I ended up going 10-6, and six, so I can't complain too bad. That puts my season total at 130 and 78. It's about it's what 62 and a half winning percentage. I'll take that, I guess. So we got three more weeks left of the 2014 NFL regular season. So it's time for my Week 15 picks. I'm going to start off with the Thursday night matchup. You've got the Arizona Cardinals taking on the St. Louis the Rams. The Rams coming off of back-to-back -back shutouts. That defense is starting to look like the dominant defense that I thought it could be heading into this season. Unfortunately, it's too late for the Rams uh, to save their season, but they can be spoilers, or they can at least really build some positive momentum heading into 2015, and that's what I envision is going to happen here. This is a Rams team that's 6-7, and seven, coming off of back-to-back -back shutouts. You have the Arizona Cardinals that even though they beat the Chiefs last week, it wasn't exactly in an incredibly impressive way. The Chiefs, or excuse me, the Cardinals are kind of heading in this direction ever so slightly, and the Rams are heading up in this direction. So I'm actually going to pick the Rams to beat the Cardinals on Thursday Night Football. Now heading into the Sunday matchups, there are some good games on the slate. I think last week's matchups looked a little bit better. I will take the Falcons over the Steelers. You know, Steeler fans, I picked against your team most of the year, so you should be relatively happy with that. So why mess up the rhythm for you now? Uh, but again, this is a matchup coming off of a dominant uh, going away victory against the Bengals last week. This is the type of matchup that, again, uh, is just ripe for the Pittsburgh Steelers to totally not show up and lose. I'll take the Packers over the Bills. I'm going to take the Bengals over the Browns, even though I am curious to see what Johnny Football is able to do. And he could provide a spark. He could provide a lift. But at the end of the day, I think it is too late for the Browns. I'm going to take the Indianapolis Colts to beat the Houston Texans in an AFC South matchup. I'll take the Chiefs to get some revenge on the Raiders. I'll take the Patriots to get some revenge against the Dolphins from what happened in week number one. I'm going to take the Giants over the Redskins in an NFC East matchup that unfortunately here in Virginia will be shown on TV and I don't think anybody's really going to give a shit about except the national media because it involves two NFC East teams. My upset pick of the week, I'm going to pick the Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the Carolina Panthers and Derek Anderson since apparently Cam Newton wanted to go whack, crack, break your back in a truck accident. Good Lord Almighty. Um, you know, the Panthers aren't a very good team. Even with Cam Newton. And without him now, ew, I'll take the Bucks. The Bucks got to win at least one more game, I would think, in 2014. And this might be the week. I'm going to pick the Jets over the Titans in a matchup featuring two terrible teams sitting at 2-11 and with both having a chance potentially at the number one overall pick in the 2015 NFL Draft. Now that the Jets are so close to that promised land, they'll, of course, win a meaningless game like this and screw the pooch on any chance of getting there. Uh, I'm going to take the Chargers over the Broncos for reasons that still are yet to be fully determined by me. Uh, I'm just not really sure. Although I thought the Chargers played relatively well against the Patriots on Sunday night, and I like the fact the week before that they came from behind to beat the Ravens in the manner that they did. And I just have a feeling that the Chargers were going to be able to beat the Broncos once this year. They didn't do it the first time, so I'll pick them to do it the second time. I'll take the Lions over the Vikings. I will take for, again, Reasons unbeknownst to me, other than the fact that maybe this will be that one last great showing for the 49ers under Harbaugh. I'm going to take the 49ers over the Seahawks in Seattle. Because for as much as everybody's talking about how great Seattle has played recently, to a degree they have. But it still isn't the same team as last year. And I don't think they're nearly as invincible. And they've already been beaten in Seattle this year, so I don't see why it couldn't potentially happen again. I'll take Philadelphia over Dallas in what I'm sure will probably be the matchup of the week. And then in the Monday night matchup, I'm going to take uh, you know, a team that is imploding, that is falling apart at the seams, that is fighting amongst itself more than it is against opposing teams. Um, and, of course, that's not the Chicago Bears. I'm referencing the Saints, who I'll pick to beat the Bears on Monday night. <laughs> Two teams heading in bad directions, but the Saints have Drew Brees and the Bears have Jay Cutler. Enough said. Even with it being in Chicago in December on prime time, I'm still taking the Saints. So you're welcome to pick against me. Like I said last week, I went 10-6. and six. I'm 130-78 and 78 on the season. I feel okay about this week's pick, so I guess we'll find out in a few days how I did.